but um, talking about Mike McCrary and him being mm -hmm. a part of Boys to Men, you made it crystal clear on yeah. IG Live that there is no beef personally. So no. you want to expound on that for, for, for you your know, fans? It's funny. Like, I don't do social media. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. Like, I go on when I need to go on and then I get off of it. But um, going on it and then even, you know, hearing certain comments about uh, uh, what people think happened with Mike and all this other stuff is actually quite fun. And, and just hearing also just the, the, the theories and, and, you know, oh, they did them dirty. They did this. They did that. And blah, 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 blah. Yeah, because it, look, the, here, this is what like for fans and everybody else, everybody was like, he had scoliosis, his back went bad, he couldn't perform, and then they just didn't let him in the group anymore. That's kind of the rumor <laughs> that 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 took off and never got, never really got, you know, well, straightened out. Part of that is right. Yes, he has scoliosis. Um, yes, he had a back issue, and I don't know if it, the real fans know because there have been times where we would actually do shows where Mike would be sitting on a stool yeah, and we were dancing and the whole thing. So we tried practically everything just to, you know, keep him motivated and keep him into it because the truth is Mike never really was as ambitious about music as we were. Mm -hmm. So it was one of those things where when his back started to kind of, you know, spaz out, like, we seen him less. You know, there were times where he just wouldn't show up at shows. He wouldn't show up at, at TV appearances. And it started to wear on our business. So it was only ne necessary for us to make that, you know, cut the, the ties because he wasn't willing to do even those things to continue on with, with, uh, with the group's uh, responsibilities, which were, you know, the basic things that he already used to do. So we did what we had to do. Do you think you, I don't, never mind. I don't want to go there. Um, it, no, no, please be, ask it, ask it, ask it. Okay. Ask it. Do you think you could have, you guys could have kept him? And I asked this because I spoke with a member of the Whispers who got really, really sick and couldn't mm -hmm. travel with them. And mm -hmm. they said that they continued to pay him in spite of what he couldn't do. So do you think you guys could have continued to pay um, mm -hmm. Mike until he was prepared and ready, continue to help him through this whole situation? Well, the problem, well, the truth is we did. And mm -hmm. we did for some time. And there were times where even with uh, us paying him and him still getting checks, um, calling him to find out if he's going to make it to this appearance or that appearance, he wouldn't even answer our phone calls. He wouldn't even like pick up the phone. Nate would literally go to his house and he wouldn't answer his door. So it was kind of a, 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 a thing. It was kind of a weird thing that Mike was going through emotionally that we were like, okay, we got to do what we got to do here. Like, you know, he's, it, it was one of those things where you, you could only do but so much. But then he had to give a little too, <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I understand in, that. In, yeah. in, in, in getting, uh, in, in us making an effort to try and make it work, it became less on his part. So it was like a, a sign to us to say, you know what, let's just cut it because it's only frustrating everybody. How does he feel about you? Um, you know what, I haven't spoken to Mike in years. And huh. I think the last time, that um, I, I saw him was, I think, on that, that Ayanla show. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I didn't even watch it. I think I saw, like, uh, like a little 15-second snippet, and I, was, and I mm -hmm. cut it off. Because, oh, wow. Because, because, because Mike knows that we don't roll like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't get down like that. We, we, we ain't about exposés and, you know, going on shows and talking about each other bad, even if there was bad blood or anything like that. Like we, we were the type of guys and we had sat down with this guy and, and talked it out and, and hashed it out and everything. I think a lot of that, in my opinion, was for television. 
And if and he knocked on your door today and you opened it and it were him, what would you do? Mm -hmm. I'd be like, uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> there goes, I'm thinking you're going to give him a big hug. <laughs> no, I mean, I would, but I'm like, I'm but like yeah. if, if, you know, I'm, I'm being, that's my brother, you know what I'm saying? So he'd probably right. laugh anyway. So I'd be like, you know what I mean? So I'd be like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> so, so, so yeah, it, it would, it would be, that's because, but again, that's the relationship that we had. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to say too much because a lot of the, Stuff like I said, I don't I don't like divulging personal information over yeah. social media, especially or or media period, especially when someone's not here to defend himself. But I, I'm not going to gloss over the fact that we're brothers, and that's how we talk to each other. You know, you know what I mean, and that's how we used yeah. to talk to each other. You know, you have that, that he was family, and that he'll always be my brother, no matter what. But brothers fight, and brothers have disagreements. Yeah, and I and think that's important. Brothers for have to know. different ways too.